so hello everyone welcome to this uh, new video so in my previous video i had started with the vlsi lab experiments and i have completed one experiment that is the first one that is design of four bit adder okay so i have uh, in brief i have explained the code first about this verilog code and the test bench code okay separately and I've, then what i have done is i have opened uh, the software named as vivado okay i have already told you about this software this is a very expensive software uh, the storage is around 100 gb storage minimum should be there in your laptop so but it is very effective guys okay in order to execute any vlsi experiments so this uh, vivado software is very ex uh, uh, essential okay so that uh, part we have done it okay we have uh, seen the seen the execution but there was one problem in that video i hope uh, i i know i know that many people have observed that that is uh, while uh, doing the screen recording i couldn't uh, uh, i couldn't switch to other windows so that's why in that i was in the constant window only so that's why some other key features were there in that vivado that i couldn't be showing you guys okay so that uh, are very easy okay that's not required so to do it again so what i'm doing is in the second experiment now while i'm doing it i'm going to show you clearly okay what what and all are the changes required so this was about the first first experiment is already done okay you go and watch that video you will be definitely understanding it okay that is some small error in the video that you could uh, skip it okay it is uh, not negligible so in the second uh, experiment onwards i'm going to do it correctly okay so this is the second experiment of your uh, syllabus that is four bit shift and add multiplier okay so we have seen with the four bit adder now four bit shift and add multiplier okay the same thing four bit is the uh, uh, minimum uh, amount okay uh, more than that if uh, the bits are taken then all those things would be going towards the carry flag okay so that we are going to see it now again they have asked us to write the verilog code functionality using test bench and synthesize using the proper constraint in the gate level netlist that is the gate level simulation waveforms okay so these three things you are going to do it again so now let us uh, go to that okay so this is that code four bit multiplier okay so here we have separate verilog code as well as test test bench code so first verilog code i've told you right we should be declaring the module first uh, write module and then write a module name so here uh, you could be writing any module name it's of your choice okay i have given it as mul that is multiplier mul then declare all the inputs and outputs that is clock clock is one input reset is an is one input reset is for uh, resetting all the bits okay then a b are 3 down to 0 since there are 4 bits so that is uh, that's why I mentioned it as 3 down to 0 A and B then product okay product is output register okay output register means 7 down to 0 uh, this is just an 8 bit product which I am assigning because if we add 2 4 bits right if you multiply 2 4 bits our uh, product would be of 8 bits right so that's why the output is 7 down to 0 product okay so then again register reg 7 down to 0 temporary product okay then register 3 down to 0 multiplier multiplicand count okay so these are the since we know that if you multiply uh, if, if you want to get the product you should be multiplying with the multiplicand as well as multiplier so that's why i have declared these two then register 2 down to 0 count okay now next is always at positive edge of the clock we should be beginning it okay this indicates that when the clock is at the positive edge that is when the clock is high then only you should be beginning it okay then if reset begin that is temp product which i already declared that is of 8 bits is less than or equal to 8 dash binary 0 okay that is uh, the value of this would be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 8 times multiplier is less than or equal to b multiplicand is less than or equal to 4 dash b 0 0 0 comma a we should be making the multiplicand 8 bits then count is less than or equal to 3 dash b 100 0, 0. product is less than or equal to 8 dash b 0 then end uh, end it okay since we have begin it here we should be ending it then if this is one if if case next is else if so this is when for a re reset condition now if the count is greater than 0 that is we are de we have declared one uh, register called as count right so if the if the count is greater than 0 that is if the count is more than 0 then if multiplier of 0 then the temporary product uh, in that in that variable we should be declaring it as it is temporary product is less than temp product plus the multiplicand which is assigned okay 
then in that case the multiplier would be less than or equal to multiplier greater than one okay then multiplicand is less than or equal to multiplicand less than one count is less than or equal to count minus one then if count equal to equal to one right result when count becomes zero in the next clock okay in the next clock pulse the count would be becoming again it would be getting reset so that's why it would be becoming zero so that's why if count equal to one product is less than or equal to temporary product okay so that temporary product variable whatever it value whatever value it consists that would be coming directly towards the product variable okay so then uh, we have declared two begins right here one begin and this begin that both things you should be ending it here end end and finally end the module by giving it as end module okay so this was a complete about the verilog code next is the test bench code test bench code again module uh, declare one name that is mul underscore tb i have given it for test bench okay then inputs and outputs i have told you right inputs are you should be declaring using reg and outputs as wire so that only i have done it here then in order to link the verilog code and test bench code i have already told you in my first video that is you should be writing the verilog uh, in the verilog description whatever name you have given that you mentioned it here and uut okay so this what is this uut unit under test okay the full form is unit under test you should be adding this in order to link the verilog and test bench code okay after doing this again declare the inputs and outputs clock reset ab output for clock generation uh, initial begin clock equal to 1-b0 that is when uh, clock equal to 0 forever for 5 nanoseconds clock is equal to negation of clock that is the clock would be shifting for every 5 nanoseconds as 0 1 0 1 0 1 etc okay end it next stimulus that is initial begin if reset is 1 a uh, i i have declared a values as 4 dash b 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 for 10 nanoseconds then reset 0 then after 40 nanoseconds 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 and it goes on Okay, so like this, we have declared some uh, numbers here, four bit numbers. Then at 50 nanoseconds, the complete uh, program would be getting stopped. Okay, then end it. Then we have again initial begin. Then this is for the displaying values. So in order to display the values here, see we have name and value, right? These things in order to display it in the plot, this is required. That is serial monitor time equal to percentage zero T bar A equal to percentage B like that declare for all the values a b product and stuff okay so this product is this here we have zero d right so d indicates decimal and this b indicates binary numbers okay time a b product product n and n mod okay so this was the complete about test bench code so in this way the output would be appearing okay so this is one screenshot which i've taken from the output so this same output you would be getting during the simulation of it so this was about the code guys so now with this code we are let us see the execution part we are going to open that vivado software right now okay so now this is a vivado now see here in the previous video i couldn't show you guys so now i'm going to show it now as i've told you first you should be clicking on create project okay so this window would be opening opening like now like this okay so this was not appearing in the previous video i know that so now click on next here okay now, as I've told you, you should be uh, assigning one project name and project location. It is of your choice. Okay. Whatever project location you keep here. Okay. I've kept it one dummy location here. You, it's your, of your choice. Wherever location you want, you can keep. Okay. Click on these three dots and set wherever location you want. Now, project name here. Give one project name. I'm giving it as multiplier. So, I've given it as multiplier. Next. So this already exists. So what I'm doing is, uh, let me give four bit multiplier. Okay. Yeah. So after that, this uh, one more window will be getting opened in that, in this, I've told you that first option that is RTL project. And this first box should be ticked. Rest all the things, keep it as it is. Okay. So now click on next here. So now after clicking on next one more window will be getting opened in that I've told you, right? Parts and boards would be there. In that you should be selecting boards here okay after selecting boards some boards will be appearing here okay you should be clicking on any 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 one of the boards so first board i'm selecting click on next so now one uh, uh, click on finish so now that your product is getting initialized so now this window would be getting opened okay so as i've told you now here you should be writing our verilog and test bench code in the separate windows 
for that in the top left is there one option called as in the project manager toolbar we have one option called as add sources click on that so i've, I've already told you for very log code the second option should be clicked okay so click on that second option that is add or create design sources click on next next click on create file so give one file name so i'm giving it as four bit so i'll give it in a small letter mal okay four bit mal okay so this is now created so now finish it so now here uh, uh, this again you should declare the module the inputs outputs and all msp lsp bit this is not required click on okay yes so now here this is getting updated that window is getting updated now so now it's get, it's got updated so here you go in, in the syntax error files that this would be created this is a dummy file okay you could be it could be appearing in any any of these uh, windows you should be just checking it okay so now here we have our uh, declared file that is 4 bit mul double click on that so this window would be appearing now so in this i'm going to paste my code okay which i've already explained you so this is that code here 4 bit multiplier this is the very log code so this is that very log code which i have already explained the same code okay so here you see here the, the this is error free so since this green green color indicates that there are no errors in the code so now save that code so now it's getting updated here so now that code is saved when the code is saved this should be appearing as bold here you see here the our uh, file name next is again the uh, test bench code again go to add sources now the third option should be selected that is add or create simulation sources next again create file now 4 bit mul underscore tb for test bench okay finish okay yes so now it's getting updated here so go through simulation sources so here we have our 4 bit multi tb file open that so here we should be putting our test bench code so here we have our test bench code So see here again this is the complete test bench code which i've already told you so again there are no errors in the code green lc see here zero errors zero warnings and zero notes so save this code so now this would be getting updated here so now the two verilog code as well as test bench code are updated now you should be going for simulation here run simulation run behavior simulation now the window would be getting opened okay the gate level so see here so this is that window so this is in picosecond range so click on this uh, zoom fit so this would be in the range of nanoseconds now okay so this is our waveform as i already told you just uh, open this a b and uh, product see the product is of 8 bit okay the product is 8 bit you see here and the clock is 1 reset is 0 clock is 1 I've, I've, uh, clock we have declared one thing right for every 5 nanoseconds okay it should be toggling so see here so this one full interval is of 20 nanoseconds right so, so it's of 20 nanoseconds for every 5 nanoseconds the first 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 it is 1 then it is 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is for toggle, full complete clock for it at every 5 nanoseconds. Reset is 0. Then uh, A, for A, uh, it, uh, they have taken the value of A as 1, 1, 1, 1. That is uh, F. Then they have taken the value of B as again 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So we should be multiplying these two things. If we multiply F and F, we would be getting our answer as 8 bits, our answer as 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, it is equivalent to 69. Okay, so this 69 is in the hexadecimal form. Okay, 
So 15 into 15, if you do, uh, then hexadecimal, you would be getting this value. So it gets satisfied. So this is the code. So this first five nanoseconds indicates that it is uh, starting from zero, right? So that's why the, uh, we, should, we should be starting at high, logic high. So that's why it's after five nanoseconds, it's getting started. So this is the complete waveform. Hope it is clear. Okay. So this is the waveform of four bit multiplier. So hope you understood something from this video because these experiments are very important for an exam point of view also. If you understand it, it's well and good. So that's all guys. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Keep supporting us. Thank you.